Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the brand new DNA Design DK20 Studio Series Combiner Upgrade Kit for Devastator. And oh my goodness, this upgrade kit is just amazing. When I got it, when, well, when it shipped to me, I just literally leaped with joy when I got this upgrade kit. And actually this being my first upgrade kit, it is actually one of the best upgrade kits DNA Design has ever um, released. And actually being the first one, I'm just saying it's the best one. Also looking at some reviews, I think that this would be one of the best upgrade kits DNA Design has made. So just taking the package packaging for a close look, here we see see the the vortex grinder. We can see the drills right here. D DK20 DNA Design DK20, and on the back we can see all of the accessories except the enemy scrotum, which actually did come with this, but it is not shown because the enemy scrotum, the the um, the chest plate for for Devastator and the cannon for Mixmaster were first production um, exclusive items that 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 supposedly they're not going to be with any more uh, upgrade kits except the first ones. So, so um, supposedly that's what it is, and that is why the enemy scrotum is not showing up. But other than that, we can see an array of all of the parts that we do have here. DK20, the same thing as the other side. Um, the bottom just states some, some claims and everything. Pause the video if you want to see them all. Um, this is suitable for for a kid 16 and up, but actually you could get this uh, whatever age. Just if you're below three, do not do not get it. I mean, I mean, come on, L little kids will not be able to eat it because they I mean, play with it because they can choke. So without further ado, let's crack this open and see what awaits us inside of all of the parts. So here are all the pieces that come within the packaging. So, so just to start off with one of the biggest pieces that come with it, starting off is the Vortex Grinder. And this piece actually is a nice piece. Um, although it is a bit hollow, it does have four tabs to tab it into the back of Devastator and two tabs to pa tab it into the, onto Long Haul. Um, it actually has some nice paint applications, looks good in the light and everything, and has the capability of, of going in circles where you can do a stop motion animation where a devastator is sucking something up, any autobots or debris that he, that gets sucked into his path. So you could use this as a mini, like, like you could minimize the size of this on the computer to make it look like the inside of his mouth or the, or the, or on his back. So, on uh, some other pieces are his his missile arm cannons. So the arm cannons, I am really happy that they did come with this kit because um, I'm not so sure if I said in my original review, but the arms did seem very flimsy, I mean very skinny on Devastator. And with this, they look thicker and actually comes with the missile pods. One thing that many collectors such as myself really wanted to see on the Studio Series Devastator, but actually couldn't couldn't be on the Devastator figure. So I'm really happy that they added these pieces and the missile pods do have a have the capability of going 360 degrees and everything. Now some other pieces that I did like that I did find very interesting are these door pieces. <clears throat> which actually excuse me that uh actually if you've seen on some concept arts you do see these pieces on the uh, on the tops top of Devastator which uh, do look nicely that will connect with these two sets of pipes. So just to uh, a close look at the pipes, they are made of a rubbery plastic which has the tendency to bend and fold in any way you want. So I will show you in a bit how to connect these pieces. So just taking out these pieces right here are some fill-in pieces that will apply to Scavenger's robot mode and his vehicle mode. So those pieces are going to tap into Scavenger so that he could um, what's it called? He could have <clears throat> so that he so that you could tab in these pieces one in robot or car form. This piece right here is actually a new neck joint that that will actually make Devastator's head the capability of going up, down, and actually is meant for the for the four legged position. Now these pieces will are other fill in parts, but will actually tab into the engine piece on Mixmaster and will will house it near the back of well, like the back of the neck. Now, one of the other pieces that I did find a bit, a bit of a problem trying to fit in, but you can put this, you you could just put this piece inside, and it is a little hard. Is the is the chest armor that goes on Devastator's belly? So <clears throat> this um chest armor has two slots which will go onto Overload, and this circular slot will go onto 
um, overloads body and this will go on to overloads neck which I'll show you later on in the review how to do this and this the 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 cannon that comes with Mixmaster I am incredibly happy that this did come with the upgrade kit because um, as we saw in the film he did only show up for like maybe like three seconds with the his fourth uh, his I mean his third alternate form which is the turret mode and I really did like that he uh, that this came with that and can also be applied to Devastator's arm for the for Scrapper's side and will actually um, look like he look like um, Devastator would be aiming at someone if he clenches his fingers and I'll show you later on in the review how to do that and finally one of my favorite pieces is the enemy scrotum now actually I am pretty surprised that they would put this with the DNA design kit and I am really happy that they put this piece in and they should have put it on the original um, Studio Series Hasbro Devastator and um, but unfortunately they didn't and I am really happy that it does come with it just for a closer look We can see that it does have some dents like if they have been clanging and banging with each other for a long time So I, I am really happy that they did have that <clears throat> and the last piece all the way at the top here is Devastate is Devastator's faceplate so what so uh, I have pre-installed the faceplate with the with the vortex the mini vortex grinder and actually fits perfectly as it is um, um, incredibly hard to put push it on um, I just did it off camera so um, so that you won't see me struggling but anyways these um, this goes on to mix mass uh, Devastator's head and and actually makes the face more circular and I'll show you how and it, these flaps will make it look like Devastator is inhaling any auto or debris. So without further ado, I will show you how to um, connect the pipes with the doors. So simply what you're going to have to do is just get the pipe, make sure that the, the little tab is facing downward with the smooth wire like on the right side of the screen and then make sure that the hole right here will just in fact tab in right there. And actually you do have the option of screwing these on. They did come with tiny little screws that actually, um, that um, actually they are not um, that useful they are just to secure it but but in fact I do not recommend you using the screws um, as it is already tight as it is so I would just leave it like this so so this is um, one piece so you're just gonna do the same process to the other one just do do this right here make sure it aligns pro appropriately and there so make sure that these pieces do align correctly and make sure that they that they do in fact ha have the illusion that um, that they are connected and they are one single piece in total with this upgrade kit you will get at least 16 pieces with it so <clears throat> without further ado I let let me show you how to incorporate some of these pieces onto Devastator's body starting off with the first piece which happens to be the head um, the first thing you're going to have to do, like I said before, I have already pre-installed this, just try to stick it inside and then um, just just try to stick it in. After that, you're going to have to get these engine um, steam exhaust vents. You're going to have to fold them outward, then get Devastator's face and fold it outward as well. So then just as the same process as installing the regular um, Vortex grinder, you're just going to have to simply pop it in right there. Just make sure it tabs in securely. Just make sure it goes right there. Then after that, you're gonna have to make sure these little vents do ha um do do um secure the vortex grinder. And then after that, you're gonna have to make sure that this falls down and cl click these pieces into place. Make sure that they all they're all secured. Um, click in securely. After that, you're gonna have to make sure that the face tabs in with um with the and the slots, as there is a tab right here on Devast on the forehead of Devastator that will tab into this little slot right here, and the two little tabs will tab into where they were tabbed in before. So just peg it in right there, just push it in, just simple, and there you have Devastator's face fully installed. And now, um, um, I believe that this looks good as I d I am using the box set version of Devastator. That is why you may notice some gold paint gold and silver paint applications. Um, actually, I do recommend if you do have the box for set version, it actually blends in nicely with this. Um, actually, I think this looks actually very good. And I, and also, I'm not so sure if I stated in my original review that the face did not look all that good and it did not look as near as cool enough or realistic as a, as a, as it is in the film. So, um, so with this upgrade kit, it actually makes it look good. 
So without further ado, I am going to untap the. I would um um. Without further ado, I will show you um another step in the instructions that do state to untap these feet and make sure that they are are folded out like this. Repeat the same process to the other side. Make sure it taps out like this, and then now this engine part that is on Mixmaster, you're just gonna have to simply just unpeg it right here, as this piece has unpegged on accident. You're just gonna have to make sure that this pegs in nicely, and then after that, you're gonna have to make sure that the cement drum on Mixmaster does go outward like this. So without further ado, I will show you um. Uh, um, how to how to put the other pieces onto Devastator onto Devastator's body? So here we have Devastator with with all the construction cons connected, but except Mixmaster, which I'll show you I'll show you how to connect them in a bit. Now the reason um, before I connect the rest of the pieces is to show you the instructions. So um, the instructions are are basically. Um, like they're really simple they tell you what to do and everything there's a lot of steps although this was made in china that is why you may notice some chinese letters around here so you may notice some chinese letters there the instructions are pretty simple transforms in 24 steps the upgrade kit and it will say all the all the pieces are in it so without further ado let's install some of the pieces so the first thing you're going to have to install is these two little fill-in parts which actually um, let me just wait for my camera to adjust. Actually, will actually house um, Mixmaster's engine right here because they will. They um, if you look, there's a little slot right here, and this little tab will connect. I'll show you. I'll show you in a bit later on in the review how to connect it. So just bringing Devastator in for for to connect him. So just bringing him in right now. Get one piece and make sure that it does tab in nicely and securely. Just make sure it tabs in like so. Just push it in there. Make sure that it aligns appropriately as it do. It may be a little bit difficult to put it to put in, but actually this will actually make sure that um the engine will be near the back of the neck of Devastator. As I have I haven't installed the upgrade kit yet, so just bear with me. You may notice that um, once you get this upgrade kit, it will be a little hard. So just make sure it does align up appropriately. It will take a reasonable amount of force to, to push in. So just simply just or try to um, screw it in and everything. So um, just try to push it in. If the, if one doesn't work, try the other one. As, it may, as they may only work like only one will work on the left and only one will work on the right. So try the other one. Just make sure that they do tab in correctly like this. And actually, where to get this upgrade kit? You can get it at tfsource.com for $60. Actually, I got it for $72. That is plus the tax and shipping. It'll ship maybe from Nevada. That's where I got it from. And I'm not so sure if they have another warehouse somewhere else, but that is that that is where I got it from. So yeah, um, It'll come within maybe three to four days if you're living in the middle of USA. Um, but anyways, I got it from TF Source for sixty dollars. Um, since I got the upgrade kit and it arrived nicely and everything, they bubble wrap you the packages so so it will um, it is safe and everything. The um, the the company is safe and everything. So I recommend buying from it if you want to get the Wreckers upgrade kit. From TF Source, you can get it. You can get it right now. And as we have attached one piece right here. We can simply attach the other one. Just simply just, just push it in like so. As it is, like I said before, very hard to push in. So try moving it in different angles to see how it'll work. As it is a bit hard to push in, I'll just, I'll just, um, just simply try to push it in. That's a reasonable amount of force. It should go in, but it does not want to go in right now. So, um, 
Oh, so then let's just move on, on to another piece. So without further ado, I will show you how to insert the arm cam, I mean the vortex grinder onto Devastator. So simply just turn Devastator around like so. You notice that uh, the original vortex grinder as shown right here is just mixed map as just get scavengers wheel but reverse. So simply just fold these out to allow some clearance. Uh, and then make sure that the vortex grinder does look like this. Make sure that this middle piece is is facing upward. And then you're gonna notice four 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 rectangular slots are gonna go into right here. Make sure that they do align up appropriately. That they insert nicely, nice and secure. And there. They, so here you have the Vortex Grinder fully on, installed onto Devastator. So, like I said before, they do have the capability of, of spinning around and everything. Okay, so now turning our attention back to the front, here we will add, here we will add the, arm, the arm cannons onto Devastator. So simply what you're going to have to do is just get this piece right here, get the arm cannons, make sure um, that the the pointier side is facing toward like Devastator and everything. So, so without further ado, just align it up nice, nicely. And there, you have you have done one arm cannon. So now you're gonna go to the other side, do the same process right there. So just the arm cannon, just make sure it's secure nice and securely, and just tap it in right there. So you have Devastator's new arms installed, which actually do look better than before because now we won't see the screws facing toward us and now we'll just see this and actually um, they do have the capability of uh, moving left and right so if you wanted to do a stop motion you can move this around so that it could, look, it could give you the illusion that Devastator is aiming at an Autobot or, or, or an enemy that he sees. So, so yeah. Whoops. So I believe you're supposed to um, insert this piece right here, as I did have trouble to insert it because this is actually my first time inserting any of these pieces onto Devastator, um, except for the chest armor. Uh, it is actually quite difficult to insert um, these these tiny little pieces right here. So just uh, so it is quite hard to do, but just just try to do it. Alright, so then now you're going to have to turn your attention to the back once again to insert these new door pieces that I will that I'll show you in a, in a moment how to insert them. So you're just going to have to get these door pieces. Wait, before we do the door pieces, you're going to have to insert these little these little red fill in parts which will actually um um are meant for 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 scavengers alternate car mode. So simply just make sure that they align appropriately. Make sure that the bigger, bigger tab is on the bottom and the smaller tab is on the top. So just simply, simply push it in right there and there, it's locked in secure. So do, do the same process to the other side right here. So you're just gonna do the same process. Make sure the bottom, the bottom tab is the bigger one and the smaller tab is the skinnier one. Just simply do the same process here. Just align it up appropriately and why do I keep doing it wrong? Okay, so just put it in, just put it in correctly up here. Let me just move this to the camera for a closer look. So, so just as we did to the other side, you're going to do to this side and now just simply, just simply peg it in right here. And there. 
So now we have the the new fill-in parts fully tapped in onto De onto Devastator's um, sort of armpit area. So we have the these new tabs tapped in in onto Devastator. So simply now you are, are are able to put these new pieces down right here. So you're gonna have to make sure that these two tabs are are right here onto onto these two slots right here, and make sure that. Now train our tension once in the front again. And then simply what you're gonna have to do is just align this up appropriately and then secure this and then make sure that once this is pushed in, you just make sure that this is tabs out like that, like this. And then after that, you're gonna have to fold this out like this and then Turning our attention once to the back. Once again, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to make sure that this little rubber tab goes inside this little circular slot right here. Make sure it just pegs into there nice and secure. And and then we have the we have the new tubing fully installed onto Devastator's back. So now we're gonna do the same process to the other side. So you're gonna have to get the your other your other um wire your other tubing wire and the door you have installed. So just simply peg it peg it in to right here. Make sure it does go inside and make sure that this does click in warp like so as some of the pieces may may um, be kind of kind of restricting to to push in but nevertheless just keep trying so just simply try untabbing it if you want um, to try again if you are having trouble so then, as you notice that these two pieces did untab, so you're just gonna have to re 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 tab them like so. Just tap them up like that. Then you're gonna have to connect these two pieces onto right here. Just gonna have to connect them right here. Make sure that this does um, click as as now we turned our attention to the back once again, and then make sure that just flip these pieces as um, the screws are not necessary so if you do want to put the screws you can but but I actually found it very hard to do so I would not recommend putting the screws so now you're just gonna have to make sure that this tabs inside right here so as you notice that this piece did the attach you did notice that the, it did deattach maybe that's the reason the screws are there to stop it from deattaching and then you're gonna have to tab it inside the little slot once again. Simply just pop it in right there. As I will just skip this section of the video so that you you can see the finished result of the justice side, and I'll continue on onto the rest of the of the upgrade kit. So here I have already installed the the door piece and the pipe piece off camera so that uh, so that it could be quicker and I also did fix this piece I installed the little piece for for mix masters engine right there so without further ado let's attach the neck joint so what you're gonna have to do is just simply get the neck joint and you're gonna notice that it is in a circular pos um, um, position and then right here is also as well so this little tab right here will have to just tab into there it'll take a lot of force to just tab it in right there, just simply just try to peg it in right there. As this piece is one of the hardest pieces to, to get inside, so I'm not so sure if it's just mine. And there is a slight de uh, design flaw with this neck joint that I did hear on another YouTuber's video, and that there was a the uh, there was a design flaw on it. And I'll and I'll see if mine mine does have that same design flaw because it does not sit sit correctly. Maybe it's due to the force that you would put on on the on the neck joint. And, 
trying to push it in right there but anyway so and it is not engineered correctly to fit onto the, the cement drum on Mixmaster so just simply try to pick it in right there so let me just move this closer to the camera over right here just simply peg it in right there as as I believe you it is supposed to be facing downward like this um, just taking a look at the instructions it is face supposed to be facing like this so just make sure that this empty area will face toward toward the bottom and the, and the regular the rest is facing toward the top wow this piece is really hard so you're just gonna have to um, try to tab it in as, as good as you can. Try not to break the piece, um, as it is on a pin, so it, it could easily break. So just simply try to put, put it in right there, as it is nearly impossible to put it in. Ah. But you could simply just... I'll just do it off camera and um, once again like the other pieces like these two pieces uh, like this piece uh, I'll, ju I'll just show you how it looks like when it's finished and now I have already just tabbed in that piece and it took me a while to, to put it in but just a little bit of force and it just goes in nicely so it's secure and everything and now you um, now you are ready to put on to mix master's head so what you're simply gonna have to do is just get mix master I mean, um, devastators head and just like I showed before, make sure the cement drum is folding outward. And honestly, this whole area wasn't um, designed all that good. So I'll just separate the legs just a little bit right here, and then just show and just show you what I mean. Is that um, by by it's not designed all that good. Great is that um, is that Mixmaster's hands are in are are in the way of transforming. Um, the neck, the new neck joint, and then now also um, the new neck joint. Um, I don't think it's strong enough to hold on to Devastator's new head. So you're just simply gonna have to just tab it in right there. Make sure it fits correctly. Simply just, just simply peg it in like this. As it is, as I said earlier, it was not engineered all that good. So just simply peg it inside right here. And you may notice that some of the pieces may um, be attached onto uh, Mixmaster's head. So simply just have them, um, just re try to reattach them um, the best way you can. And it is very hard to put to 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 attach this piece. And I have seen other people's reviews on uh, on this upgrade kit, and they and most of them had a problem with how to attach this piece. So so just simply, what you're gonna have to do is just make sure that these pieces do do fold in like this. Make sure, as um, like as I said before, the the arms for Mixmaster are just in the way and are just disturbing how to transform the um, how to transform the net new neck piece. Also, in all all the pieces may may just start like deattaching just simply just re-peg them inside the corresponding slots so um, just simply just peg it in right here just make sure maybe maybe even just try to tighten this area right here try it or just so that it can fit inside perfectly as it is like I said before, nearly impossible to put in, and I will just skip this tiny little little segment of the video of how to put it in, and then you'll just see how it looks like when when it is finished.
So now that I have connected that piece, and believe me, it took a really long time to connect to connect it, and whoa, it was just it was just uh, it was just torture uh, of just like trying to put it on and never put on. But finally, it did. I did not add any modifications to it whatsoever. Although I was thinking of that, but no, I did not add any at all. So just to see um, how it looks like when it's finished. Um, you can see that the cement drum is connected to the new neck joint and actually um, gives this figure uh, the capability to move his head up and down and unfortunately a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right and also there is a reason why you're not supposed to click it is so that you could move the head a little bit to the right and a little to the left but mostly it's to go up and down and believe me I'm not so sure if this area was engineered that correctly um, because um, if you could do it, it, it's just so, so flimsy. So what I would do if I was doing a stop motion, I would seriously just leave these pieces somewhat like this so that they could, they could um, have something to, to sit on and everything like so that they could be, be on, on a, on a surface where they, where the head won't keep falling and falling and falling and falling. So now with that, that piece finished and believe me, it was so hard to just put it just to put it on. So now, time to move on to the next piece, which is actually the engine that did come with Studio Series Mixmaster. As I said before, it will tab into on the top. So, so the so it is pretty simple just to put it on. The thing is just to align it up appropriately. So just simply uh, make sure it lines up good. Just just make sure if you uh, want it like this, make sure the tabs like that as one piece is now connected now the other piece just has to connect as well just make sure it does tab in and I believe it is now tabbed in a bit hold on just a little bit and I believe it is now tabbed inside so um, now that that is finished, um, personally, I do like how it does look like if you were going to put Devastator on all fours, you could see the truck piece up there, and look, and it does kind of look like a bit like concept art, oops, did it connect good? I'll connect it up later, but anyways, um, personally, I think that this just looks great of how they incorporated this engine piece, how it is now going to be, um, on, on the top of of Devastator's neck and actually Devastator is now a bit um, sits a bit higher so this figure actually um, is a bit bigger just by just by a little bit I'm not nothing so so grand so crazy he didn't go like so big but he just went a little bit bigger due to the neck joint and the new engine piece on the bottom so without further ado I will show you how to incorporate the, the chest armor so um, so simply, there are two little slots right here and two tabs on overload that you can see slightly right here. I'll just um, uh, flip the camera in a different position so you can see it. And here, here's the little um, tabs I was telling you about. So, so now this um, slots are going to go into this tab right here. So you're just going to have to make sure that this does tab inside correctly as as now this circular little gap will, will go into this piece of metal right here whoops and actually this piece is actually very easy to take off so that is just one area of critique that I have that um, that it just does keep coming off and the neck joint also that is another area of critique but other than that I um, the upgrade kit is just marvelous it is the best DNA design upgrade kit they have ever made well well it's the only one I purchased and the first upgrade kit so overall my experience with an upgrade kit actually I do like it and it actually enhances the figure so much so ju just simply align align this up appropriately make sure that this connects right here and also the the armor will also hold in the legs which actually had no place to tab into originally but um, supposedly it is now going to hold the these overloads legs in place although it would seem the legs are here but these are devastators legs and overloads arms not well over, these are overloads legs which is like the body of devastator right here so you're just simply gonna have to just peg it in right there and there so now you have the chest piece fully installed onto Devastator, but we're not finished yet. 
there is two little pieces left to install and they are the enemy scrotum and the cannon so for for mix master and scrapper so without further ado i will show you how to uh, insert the the enemy scrotum onto devastator so simply just get the enemy scrotum that you have simply turn the whole figure to the back and you will notice that there is a little tiny little slot near the butt so you're gonna get this uh, p this piece right here and it it will slide into and fit perfectly into devastator and the, the balls are fully installed now there is one more piece to put onto devastator which are which is a cannon for mix master so without further ado you can just there are two tabs that will like go on mix master um, but that will go on scrapper so I'll just show you the scrapper version right now then the mix master so you're simply just gonna have to line this up appropriately and I do recommend leaving it on this side because um, devastator would be would be um, like he would be like shooting at an Autobot or anything that he wants to destroy so you can adjust this to your soul desire if you want and now with the full DNA design DK20 upgrade kit fully installed now let's just take a view of the whole whole upgrade kit fully installed onto Devastator so here is the DK20 DNA design DK20 upgrade kit fully installed onto Devastator and without a doubt this upgrade kit is just leaps and bounds better than the original Studio Series Devastator and makes this figure from an 8 to probably a 9.5 the only real area of critique that I did have is just the t just the neck joint but other than that everything was good I do like um, the new arm cannons the the new face part the the tubing the the vortex grinder the doors um the 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 shield I mean the body the uh, the body armor right there and then the enemy scrotum although there would be one one or two pieces I would have loved to, uh, to be included with this set would be the the ropes uh, uh, wrapped around high tower as we did see on the devastator box at the concept art we did see that there was a bunch of ropes wrapping around here and here and I would have really loved that and I really would have loved that they added more parts to make this area look a little bit more thick other than that, uh, I do like it, and I really wish they would have added, um, this is just my thought that I w they would have, t like, um, devised a way to take off this face part and the jaw and put a whole new one that can actually extend and, and go back inside to make it look like Devastator or to open up his whole mouth and then suck everything inside. Although that would have been, uh, very time consuming and everything. And I am really glad of what they have accomplished here and the new parts and everything for, for De for new Devastator. And just to, um, for a closer look at some parts, the, uh, the, the face part is nice. You can open his jaw and then uh, make sure that these parts do flap out to make it look like Devastator is sucking up any Autobots or debris he does that crosses his path and here we can see some doors right here the door the, the back doors are here uh, the arm cannons which I'll show you in a bit right now the arm cannons are here oh my god they're so amazing the chest armor as well and and um and mix master's cannon which actually does apply to to scrapper just turning toward the back so that you can see the the rest of the product in the back on the back just to show you, here we can see the new Vortex Grinder, the new parts for 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 the for for Mix Master's um, piece, the new tubing and everything. Honestly, everything is good. And one one thing I did really like is that 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 um, that the balls do um, can dangle and clang into each other if Devastator were to climb on top of the pyramid. So. Uh, that is just that that was some of his parts and some of the parts may um, um, Deattach but just simply reattach them. So now without further ado I will show you the car and robot form of the of the new of the new transformers of how they apply first I'll show you mix masters fourth mode which I, I believe it's his third mode the turret mode and uh, with his with his cannon that was shown briefly in the film so I will show you in a bit how he will look like so here is mix master in his robot form and I will show you how to install the cannon onto onto mix master to to make his sort of a semi tank semi robot form so simply just simply get this just set it off to the side get his engine piece 
take it off just to allow some clearance. Then after that, you're gonna have to get get the cannon, and then it will. It does have two cir circular little areas and two tiny or circular little areas that will fit in into these tiny circular slots here and here. So without further ado, you're just gonna have to inst install it like this. Just make sure they align up appropriately, and. And I and I did have trouble installing this before, but just make sure that they do align up appropriately, and and it will look sort of sort of what he sort of what he looked like in the film. Um, you're just gonna have to make sure that the um, it looks like there is three three pipes. So make sure that the what the one with the little hole on it, make sure the one with the little hole on it is facing upward. So you're gonna have to make sure it does face upward. And then just simply connect it as it is quite difficult to connect and here's for a better view of how to connect it you're just gonna have to make sure it does connect perfectly and there so now with with the cannon ready and installed just simply put this piece back where it was right here and then nice and secure so now you're gonna have to put uh, mix master in a somewhat tripod position um, it did not show how to put it in the instructions in the instructions it just showed how to um, pose him but it didn't show how to move his arms or anything so just simply make sure that the arms are facing like this do the same process to the other side right here and then click these down like this and make sure that it does look like three pieces and then one big piece right there so then just make sure just even it out secure it make sure that this face is pointed outward and everything and then just simply pop it like this and there so you have mix master in his somewhat of a somewhat of a um canon form so this is um what 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 we saw in the film for just like a brief two seconds two to three maybe one second where he does i believe fire at ironhide or jet fire but this is the best we can do we can do um i do like how they incorporated this piece to fit uh, nicely on Mixmaster and on Scrapper, so personally, I will be I, I will be using this for a display option. Although the teeth do seem like they're in the way, but other than that, um, great, great, great um, view and everything. I do like how it does look like. Although the back, um, it it is okay. Um, although I would position it in different ways so that it could be more even and everything. So just try to try to make sure it looks as good as possible. So with that now being done, I will show you how to install some of the pe some of the um, pieces on some of the constructed cons um, um, on their vehicle forms and how to make sh make armor up the constructed cons. So without further ado, I will show you their vehicle forms and how to install these pieces. So here are most of the constructed cons. Here I'll show you how to insert all the ar armor pieces. So firstly, you're gonna have to start with Devastator's Balls. You're gonna have to insert them in the little slot they, they were designated to go in before. So just simply just peg it in. I recommend just having it already pegged in, but I did have to, I did separate it just in case. So just simply simply peg it in right there. It, it will be difficult like in this position but when when in ro when in robot form it is not that difficult. When Devastator is fully fully um transformed it's not difficult. But in, in vehicle form it is quite quite difficult. Um but anyways it is supposed to go there. I will show you another piece that actually goes here it is actually the vortex the regular little vortex grinder. Um and goes where it oh it always went so just just ins just put it um in its regular spot so which I believe is right here right here and then make sure that these parts do do um tab in like that make sure that they fold in like that and make sure this piece does tab in right here and that. 
So it'll look kind of, it's going to look kind of weird. Although these figures weren't meant to have these pieces there, but they do go there. Okay, so now you're going to do the same process to this one. You're going to have to make sure the, the, the arm cannons go on scrapper. Make sure they go on this guy and they, they fit perfectly. They fit nicely right there. Um... Just make sure that they all fit good and there just make sure make sure that they do look like that and then finally the the cannon that went on mix master will go on mix master which makes sense um it'll go right here there is this little slot and this tab right there just simply peg it in right there just peg it in right there and then and then there so you have here are some just some of the constructed cons i did not bring out um, scavenger long call due to the reason I don't have long call and scavenger is already stuck on the devastator form And it was completely hard to transform it. But anyways here are the constructed cons in their vehicle forms So so some final thoughts about the devastator box it is that this figure is at this um, I meant the upgrade kit. It is absolutely worth it. <clears throat> it's worth the price for $60 You can get it at tsource.com um, if you're in the USA, they'll offer you two day. Um, they'll offer you shipping from like two days to four days. But usually, if in, you're in the middle of the USA, the country, you're gonna um, get it within four days. I got it within two days because I live in California. Um, I um, and personally, I do like this um, upgrade kit. It is very nice. Um, actually, the paint applications and everything blend in good with the figure and everything. And that about concludes our video. I really hope you enjoyed it on how to um, put the pieces on. Um, they were a bit hard, like the 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 what's it called? The new neck joint was a bit hard, but another uh, another nevertheless, it was absolutely amazing. So that about concludes our video. I thank you for watching. Please subscribe, leave a nice comment, and I will see you at our next Transformer Studio Series video. And I do have one announcement to make, is that I will be changing my YouTube name. I will not tell you in this video, uh, but in the next video, I will tell you uh, my new YouTube name and make an announcement video. So th goodbye, thank you for watching, and until next time, I will see you um, in my channel. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.